Welcome back to Shane's DIY. Uh, today we're going to talk about widgets. A couple of specific ones in a package. In some of my other videos, uh, people have seen some of the widgets that I've used across my screen to show some different things. And uh, many of them are asking uh, where you get that widget. There's a bunch of widgets in this package. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, but I'll show you where you can download them. Uh, quickly how to put them on. I assume most of you know how to do that. But if not, I'm going to make sure you, we cover that. And I'm going to show you how to set them up in the radio. So for starters, let me give you a little quick demo. I just I went ahead and plugged in a bunch of random ones onto this uh, test model just to show you kind of some of the capabilities of the widget or a couple of different of the widgets that I like. So let's uh, let me zoom in here and I'll show you what I'm what we're looking at. Uh, just going across from left to right mode. I've got that tied into my safe mode switch. So when it's in my safe mode, it's, it actually shows the word safe rather than a you know value because you, you can see it on the channel monitor, obviously. But you can get it to tell you, say whatever you want into the, any of the three position switches. And you can do it for a two position switch too, but there is three positions to the widget. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm not really going to get into it in this video, but you, you know, if you do have a three position switch that does some sort of mode, you got to make sure that you have uh, an assignment for all three modes. Otherwise, you, if you accidentally get it into the mid position or a position that's not assigned to a flight mode, you could end up without control. So you got to be careful of that. I've got this one tied to my, my uh, SE switch, which is generally the one I use for the flight modes, uh, different rates and safe mode. So now I'm in high rate mode, which would just be AS3X. Medium rates. Medium rates, uh, depending on the plane, would just still be AS3X, but different rates. Uh, some planes, if I want to use this, the gyro intermediate mode, that might be that. And you can tell, you can have it say whatever you want. And then if I go to my safe mode, safe mode. of course it says safe mode and then it uh, actually gives you the text. So that's pretty cool. Uh, flaps, got flaps on my SG switch. Uh, and then I've got that one up here. So flaps are up. Take off flaps down. And it says take off flaps. Oh, I spelled it wrong, so we can fix that. Uh, you have eight digits that you can plug into the, the names. Landing flaps down. Landing flaps. Take off flaps down. Flaps up. And then flaps up. Uh, throttle, I just threw that one in there. Um, it obviously is tied to the throttle. It just gives you a zero to 100%. Um, and I've just got them up here across the top. You can put these down here. I, get, uh, I made an example one down here uh, just for a landing gear. Yeah. I've got it tied to my SB switch. Yeah. So it automatically adjusts the fonts depending on where you put it in the screen. You could get into the, the uh, script yourself and do some tweaking if you wanted to. Uh, the last one here, this TX battery, I had to create a logical switch for that. Let me quickly show you what I did there. Because uh, you have to, <clears throat> it is a switch, it's called Switch Pro. So you have to, it has to be part of an on off switch. But you can use, let's go into model, go to my logical switches, because you can use a logical switch as a switch. But it does only have two positions, but for this it doesn't really matter. What I basically did is create LO5 here, or logical switch 5, which is uh, A greater than X, and A is my battery, that's my transmitter battery, and then you just set a set point. I just put 7.5 in there, but uh, um, depending on what your actual battery voltage is, so you can see right now LO5 is turned on, that means my my battery, my current battery voltage is higher than 7.5. So let's see if I change my set point, I'll increase it until LL5 turns off just to show you what that widget looks like. Yeah, so my current uh, transmitter battery voltage is probably 8 volts. So when I get to 8.1, it turns off because A has got to be greater than X. Now I'll exit out of that, and now you can see my transmitter battery says low. So let's get in and uh, show you how you set these up. There's the telemetry button here in the bottom left. I just call it my widget button, but whatever. It says telemetry on it, or T-E-L-E. -E. Uh, so click that. Now, depending on where you want to put the widget, if you want to put it in the main uh, body of the uh, screen, then you use this. And you, know, and you can have multiple screens. Right now, I just have one screen on this. Uh, but if you want to put it across the title bar, and you got to push this button here, and then you're setting up. That says top bar there. So now I'm going to set up the widgets in the top bar. So it'll show you what that is. So, uh, so for example, my transmitter battery. 
I click that, I'll do the full setup to show you what that does, but just to show you what's in here currently, uh, I tap it and I go to widget settings. It shows my source is LL5, that's that logical switch I set up. I give it a label, and you can have up to eight digits. And then uh, when the switch is up, or in this case when the, the logical switch is off, it just says low, and when it's high or above that set point, when the LL5 turns on, it says OK. And you can change that text to whatever you want. Um, this one doesn't have a middle position, so I just have two. So the way I would set that one up, let's say I'm going to start from scratch, I'll just delete that one. Now if I wanted to create that, find a place you want to create it, tap it. Okay, so it says select widget. Now you're going to scroll down. I'll show you how to put these on here later, but uh, you're going to scroll down. This particular one, I'm using Switch Pro. So find Switch Pro. Click on that. And then uh, at the top, you got to pick your source. In this particular switch, I'm using LO5 because that's where I put that battery monitor. LO5. Give it a label. Call it whatever you want. T X B A T T. Okay. And then you just assign the names to whatever you want to use. So when it's up or off in this case, it's going to say low doesn't really matter if I put something in the middle one or not because it's nothing there. And then for uh, down, which is the on position, I'm gonna just going to put OK or good or you know whatever you want to put. Okay, now I can hit the back button and back out. And now I've got my uh, transmitter battery. It's reassigned up there. Uh, same thing for all these other ones. Uh, mode, the safe mode, the flaps, and the gear, uh, those are all those are all Switch Pros, <clears throat> so they're going to have the same setup. These are assigned to SG Switch because it is actually tied right to the switch that I'm using for that function. And then my Safe Mode, of course, same thing. I'm using SE Switch. The the voices or the you know the voice responses are not part of these uh, part of this widget. That's just a special function I've assigned. Uh, the other one here, throttle, that is that is another widget in this pack. For that one, you've got some ranges here. That's just basically your, your raw uh, range of the of the signal or the input that you're using. <clears throat> you of course give it a name like you would. I just put throttle in there. Uh, Totalize makes it a percentage. If I turn that off, then it's just going to give me. Uh, minus 50 to plus 50, which I don't find that useful. So I, if I'm going to use that, I'll turn on that switch, and then it'll just show me a percentage, 0 to 100% for something like that. It depends on what uh, what value you're looking at. You would have to go in there and tweak that yourself. Uh, but uh, I'm show you how to set that up. Let's delete that widget. So again, we'll tap into that spot, select widget. Now this one is this one is Gauge Pro. I'm going to click on Gauge Pro, and you'll notice that Gauge Pro does a yellow outline around the actual button. Uh, so I'll set it up like I had it before. Click on that. Pick any analog value you want to use. I'll just use throttle because that's what I had in there before. Give it a name. And then you really don't have to change these if you're just using default stuff because that's the stick min max for the raw, raw value for that input. Uh, but if you want to fine tune stuff, you certainly can. But uh, I'll turn on that totalizer again so it's just a zero to 100%. And then uh, escape out of that. Now I've got my thing back. We'll back out of this, back to the widget menu. Uh, you've got to go back to your main screen, not the top bar. And then you set up your widgets there, and then you just touch whatever field you want to put that in. So in this case, I've just put a, a Switch Pro into that field. Exact same setup as before. It just automatically changes the font. You can't change the font sizes from the widget. you got to go in. If you want to fine-tune any of that, you would have to go in and change it in the script. Just make sure you exit out of all this 
once you're done setting up your widgets. There's your demo of the uh, couple of the different widgets. There's a whole bunch of them in the package. Let's get into the computer and I'll show you uh, where to get this widget and how to put them on your radio. All right, let's pull up your uh, web browser of choice. I'm using Google Chrome here. I'll put the link in the description below and uh, that'll take you to this page. And uh, this will give you a good description of, uh, of most of the widgets in this package uh, with some screenshots. But, uh, when you get to this screen, all you want to do is click on this code over here, this green button, and then you want to download the zip. And that'll give you everything that is in all these folders. You need all this stuff to get it set up on your radio. All your widgets that you download will be listed here. I only am using a few of these. All right, click the code button and then you click download zip and you're gonna get a zip file that includes all those things. Uh, most of your uh, computers are probably just gonna to default to the downloads directory. I have mine give me the option, I can tell it where to put it. So I'm gonna put it in my uh, RC folder. Uh, so edge tx dash goodies dash main zip is the file. Save that wherever you want so you know where to find it again. Then pull up that folder. Uh, so it's right here. I already have it uh, unzipped, but you basically just right click on the folder, click extract all, and uh, tell it where you want to put those files when you do that. I've already done it. So my folder is right over here, HTX goodies. And you can see that you basically have all the same things. So when you get to this point, pick the widgets that you want. So let's just do Gauge Pro and Switch Pro. Click the first one, hold control, click the second, and it just selects the ones you want. Right click on that and then hit copy. Plug your radio into your computer. USB goes in the top port. Depending on the configuration of your radio, uh, when you plug in a USB, it will uh, prompt you to select what you want to use this for. Uh, we're going to select USB storage. Okay. Once you do that, it is going to uh, pop up a couple of USB drives. There's one that says RMTX16S. I'll click on that just to show you what it is, but you don't want to mess with these things. This is just the uh, uh, storage drive within your radio. This is not on the SD card, so don't mess with these. You're going to go to the USB drive. In my case, it's G. But you'll know when you click on it because you'll see this exact series of folders. Just click on your widgets. And then right here, you're just going to right click and paste. Now I've already got Value Pro, Switch Pro, Gauge Pro, and a, you know some others in here. Uh, but uh, all you can do is paste them in there. Once you paste them in there, then you go back to your radio. Then those will show up on the widget menu when you go to your widgets. Unplug your USB cable, and it'll go back to your screen. I already showed you this, but now when you go back into your widget setup, if you click on a area, now you go to select a widget. Now those widgets that you installed will show up on this list. So the rest of it, you know, get creative, come up with some things you can do. Uh, just know that, you know, for these, they are like Switch Pro, just has to be any kind of a switch. So it could be a logical switch or a physical switch. Any of these will do. And then, uh, of course, the other ones you got to have an analog value. But uh, there you have it. I uh, hope this is helpful and uh, enjoy these widgets. They're really cool. So thanks for watching. Any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you have uh, any cool ideas to use these widgets for, put them in the comments, share them with others. Thanks for watching. Take care.